Love is supposed to be fun. Whether you love someone else or just yourself, it's always a good time. That's why MeUndies has super comfortable and cute undies, bralettes, loungewear, and more in flirty new prints for this V-Day season. Comfort is sexy, so get matching with someone you love, or just match with your favorite ball of fur for the cutest pics anyone has ever seen. Available in sizes extra small to 4X, they have something for every booty to fall in love with. So, to get 20% off your first order, free U.S. shipping, and to chat with your incredible cheek squad about any questions or sizing concerns, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. One cubic foot of water, bro- brother, 60 pounds. And you know, you know what really put it in perspective? I was carrying my sparklets jug up the stairs, and I'm like, this is five gallons. When you're underwater, that on top of you? Pressing down on you. And the deeper you get, the harder it is. How do animals live down there? Uh, well, I mean, they've... Adaptation, yeah. I guess, evolution. There's animals at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Their, their genes have trained themselves to be stronger over time. That's crazy. Do you ever see the Mythbusters episode where they like put the the pig corpse in the in the suit and took it way to the bottom of the ocean and then like cut the pressure cable and it just went really it I just didn't imploded. I haven't seen that was that like on a special like it's, a, it's it was some Mythbusters episode from ages ago where they like put like a pig's corpse inside an old diving suit and then they cut the pressure cord or whatever so it like depressurizes the suit and it just instantly was <laughs> <laughs> that would be us if we, if we sank to the bottom. Luckily, we're not going to sink to the bottom of the ocean ever, though. Maybe. Well, it's possible. It's not a way I want to die. We could put ourselves in that situation, but I would hope that a freak accident like that wouldn't happen, because I'd be with my best friend. Yeah, normally that stuff doesn't happen to best friends. No. Just to, like, a newlywed couple or something, but, yeah. but not two funny best YouTuber friends. And usually if it does happen, one of the best friends survives to have to carry the, the turmoil and trauma. Which makes a good story. Be. You know? Makes a great story, you know, and the survivor's guilt. Yeah, just go to therapy once or twice. It's lifetime, gone. baby. Yeah. Well, guys, welcome to Super Mega Cast, uh, the only podcast uh, for the, the the children of Israel. Um, we're here today. Uh, this is Ryan McGee. Yep. And that's Matt Watson, who you, you just heard uh, moments ago. Our voices are different. So, hopefully, I'm Ryan. This is Ryan's voice. This is Matt's voice. It's more nasally. If you're it's new. more annoying. So, uh, also, you know, we, we avoid recording on Wednesdays usually because the, uh, our little friend with the leaf blower, that's when he does it. But uh, maybe he was sick yesterday, and now it's Thursday, and said, oh, I got to make up for lost time. So He's now blown away. He is walking. Uh, in fact, we were just in the, in the editing bay of the Super Megaplex, and we're having a little company meeting. And Pow wow. He, he just walked into the... Uh, like the little like middle area, just. I also heard uh, bells tolling that no one else heard. I didn't hear it. I heard like church bells, like doom, doom, like just like death bells tolling. And I was like, "You guys hear that?" And no one else heard it. And now I'm kind of scared. Would you be into playing the uh, speaking of bells tolling uh, and ominous feelings, Bloodborne? Um, would you play the Bloodborne card game with me? Absolutely. You need three players, and I feel like... I'd love to play it. Sounds like a... It's like a combat card game. Sounds like a fun time to me. Where, like, you're working together with your friends to fight different types of monsters, and but only one can really remain victor, I guess. That sounds fun. See, because I, I suck at, at the video game, but the card game... I got the card game and the expansion for it. That's a whole nother game, you know? I, I got that pretty good. I got life if you want it. That's... Jim sneezing? Jim literally sneezing by saying, a screaming, a chew. A chew. A chew. That's what it sounded like. I've, was that I, fake? I've never heard so. No, I mean, I think that was real. I've just never heard someone sneeze. Do people really say a chew? I mean, it has to come from somewhere, right? I thought it was more like an onomatopoeia type of. Yeah, but onomatopoeias are based off of the sound. Like gasp. Made. Like no one, you know, it was like. <gasps> I mean, gasp. That's what a gasp sounds like. It's not. <gasps> <gasps> no, a gasp is like you. H H H H H. That's like uh. Oh yeah, you're right. It's more like a. That's all, not a, all, all caps. <gasps> maybe an A G H. It, no, it's like A G. It's something. A U G H. <gasps> it's like ag. I don't know, man. Ag. Who comes up with these damn automatopias? Like I don't know. Meow. Meow. Yeah, bark. Bark. Bark doesn't make sense. <clears throat> bark. 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 Doesn't make sense. Wolf <laughs> does. Woof. Yeah, I hear it there. Meow makes sense. Um, yeah, you know, ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, it makes sense. 
you know. Uh, um, roar. 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 The word roar does sound, it's like roar, you know. Yeah. It roars. Like like thunder, ro- like a train roars by. It's like. <laughs> what about. um, Oink. Not really similar. It's not an oink at all. No. It's like a why, why did we why did we say pigs oink? I guess they squeal. Like that Yeah, those but little like oinks. Is squeal even an onomatopoeia? It's a verb. <laughs> oink, I don't know where oink comes from though. Who 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 named these? I'm gonna look this up. John English, you bastard. <laughs> What's your favorite onomatopoeia? I think boink is mine. I was about to say boink. Boink. <laughs> Because boink can be boink or boink. You know, it can be like a big one or a little one. What's the, what am I trying to, oh, origins. Of oink. <laughs> that's what I, that's what we're looking up today on the Super Mega Cast. It's just the sound of pig made. Like, it's just defining it even when I type in origins and stuff. So. The Let's Player goes, no, 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 oh, God, oh, no, 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 oh, Jesus. Oh, d- d- Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, balls. Yeah. We should make one for, for that. Different Let's Player sounds. We have Jacksepticeye, Markiplier. Markiplier, PewDiePie. We all know, you know. We know what PewDiePie is. Fucking. <laughs> the PewDiePie goes. <laughs> I want to fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. What would Super Megas be? The nuts. I mean, that would be Welvin if he was on it. I feel like that. We can't, we can't rip. That would be maybe your scream or my laugh. Or maybe both of them at the same time. And maybe a burp and a fart. Layered on top, so it's four sounds at once. What a sound effect that would be! <laughs> what what would the automatopoeia be for that? I don't know, but uh, Luke, <laughs> hey Luke, Luke, what all four of those things sound put together? Let's hear it. <laughs> we can't hear it because it, it's in post, but you, I can imagine it pretty well. You're gonna have to download the Matt scream, the Ryan laugh, the one you can just you can just take my laugh from the Kangaroo Jack video. Classic Matt Matt scream. People have. Uploaded separate videos, I'm sure, with compilations of your screen. Yeah. Easy to find. A uh, fart and a, uh, a burp. Burp? Easy to find. Easy. I, I, it, what, it's a shame I can't do that scream anymore. Actually, you uh, come in, you go like in and out. Like sometimes you'll surprise yourself and you'll be able to pull it off again. Well, I used to be able to pull it out of thin air. Now, when it comes around, it can only really come around. It's rare, but when it does, it's only in a moment of high emotion. You know, like in a, in a video when, when, you like, make it sound like, God, what is his name? Godrift Gryffindor's sword. It, it, it basically appears is. to you in only moments of need. It basically is. Um, and you know it's actually funny. Uh, <laughs> Luke, you got a, you got the sound bite right there. Yep. Um, it's and I got the smell. It's, a, it's impressive that you, <laughs> you the way you climbed up on that chair. <laughs> yeah, that uh, is a stinky one. Hasn't reached me yet. I'm gonna bring my water over here. <laughs> um, no, so I visited my my old my old school chum um, when I was when I was home. I hadn't seen him in seven eight years. One of my best friends growing up. I used to make YouTube videos with him, and um, he's the one that taught me how to do that scream. And uh, he just had a little baby, and we're sitting around the table, and we're catching up. Um, and he was he asked me, he's like, "Can you still do the scream we used to do?" And I was like, "I can't." And I tried to do it, and he's like, "Check it out." Exact same thing. He, he can't can do it perfectly. No, he can't do oh. it either. It's the exact same thing. He thought he could though. Thought he could. Uh, well, well, he hadn't tested it out in some. He's twenty six now and uh, just can't. I don't know. I when I was younger, it just came so naturally to I me. Guess whose birthday is coming up soon? Yours, mine. Yes. Oh my! My, my birthday is coming up. <laughs> yeah, it is. You're turning twenty seven. Yes, I am. Are you excited? I'm a big boy. Are you excited to turn twenty seven? No. Why not? I think that after 25, birthdays are just, except for 30 and 40. But, like, after 25, it's just, you, you really just start counting days, you know? I think birthdays Marking just become time. a good day to, like, kind of just give yourself day. an excuse and make your friends guilty enough to have some sort of social interaction where you're all together, right? Like, for example, today is Leighton's birthday. Yes. Leighton turned 27 today. And we have to, just because we're his friends, we have to go to his... Whatever he, he planned. Yeah, he's doing, he, you know, he planned a whole birthday party for he's, himself. He told me the only thing I know <laughs> about it is he said, Ryan, Ryan Lucky McGee, geez. get ready for a lot of glitter. And I was like, great. Which 
track it in my car. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be in bed. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, happy birthday to Layton. I'm excited to see what he has planned. Oh, you don't know? Mm-mm. He told uh, me. That's all, he only told Do me another like thing. So I was under the impression that you have to have a child to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Uh-huh. You don't. You don't. Okay. Well, I went to CeCe's recently in South Carolina, so you, I had you s- mad lad. some of that experience. You did it. Yeah, I, I didn't end up getting to go to Waffle House, unfortunately, though. I didn't either when I was home. But CeCe's Pizza, cin- those cinnamon rolls, that whatever, the, the, whatever that other dessert pizza is, that's like fluffy. There's one that has like some slice kind of, of butterscotch that on one. it. I think it's butterscotch. It's the, the macaroni I love pizza, the barbecue pizza. It's all. It was all very nostalgic. Did you puke? No, thank God. Does it? Does it live up still? Not as much as when I was. Little. And it's not like it's gotten worse. It's just no, you've it's, gotten older. Yes, I've gotten you know? older. I've matured. You know, when you're a kid, you have Cece's pizza. When you're a man, you have Papa John's. And what about when you're a woman? Well, you shouldn't be having pizza because that'll go straight to your hips. Mm-hmm. That's a man's food. Try sticking to the salad in a glass of water, sweetheart. That's just my advice. Better yet, get your water source from the salad. Lettuce is is a high percentage water. Mm-hmm. Like lettuce is one of those those vegetables that's almost entirely water, if I'm not mistaken. Now I know where your brain is going. No, no watermelon. Too much sugar in that. No, in in water, it's not even called watermelon because it has a lot of water in it. I don't know who the fuck named it. Probably the same guy that that said pigs go oink. You know. Yeah. So, um, I I think that honestly, if I were president, women get nothing but salads and no dressing because that's where most of the fat is. Yeah. How are they supposed to birth my children? And you know, pass over some decent genes as well. If they're if they're loading up on Papa John's pizza. But me, I need to energize myself from a tough work day. Oh, yeah, when I get home and I'm I'm tired, uh, I, I want some Papa John's pizza and some butterscotch candies. <laughs> you like butterscotch? Uh, it's all right. I think I like it more as, like, not on its own thing, but something as, uh, I like it being a part of a, an, a culmination of a lot of other ingredients, I guess. It's like a Werther's nice hint. Originals. Okay. Where you stand on those? Are those the, just the butterscotch candies mm-hmm. that you suck on? As I said, <laughs> not, I love too, not too big of a fan of just butterscotch, so it's not my first go-to. Butterscotch pudding? Um, if it was if it was mixed with something, maybe. If it had some another flavor. It's just such a powerful flavor. The older I'm getting, the more I'm, I, th- I think I'm realizing that like I really like butterscotch. I'm like a big butterscotch head, you know? Oh, that's the reason they, they make it. They don't make it because people hate it. But is it a part of get, just getting older? I don't know. I, I know my, my mom. I'm an old-ass man. My grandmother. I'm sure a lot of people have those delicious little butterscotches because that harsh Hers- Hershey's or Reese's, chalk Snickers, like that's all just so much. Give yourself just something little to suck on. Except, you know, at, at church I would usually get the uh, Lifesavers. Lifesavers. Lifesaver mints. Good. Or, the, mints, uh, the mints are delicious. We'd get those during like SAT. Some Good and Plenty's maybe too. Good My mom plenty. was a big good and plenty head. Yeah, she's good and plenty, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, come on. That's my Especially mother. Especially with her about. head. Get what I'm saying there? I understand completely what you're saying. Get what I'm saying, Gump. Yes. Yeah. Uh I feel like we might be some of the only people in our age range that enjoy good and plenties. I do still like good I, and I it's is it my go to candy? No. Mm-mm. But will I complain if I have some? Absolutely not. I I'm not even a big black licorice guy, but something about Good and Plenty's is is our, like I, I don't want. I'm the same way. I'm not. I'm. I'm also not a black lic. It's just the Good and Plenty, just like the it's smell. It's just the right of amount. The t- yes, you know where it's like a a black licorice jelly bean. That's too strong. That's too much. Uh, a black licorice stick, absolutely not. But a Good and Plenty, it's got that candy shell, and it's just enough black licorice where it's not overpowering. I think it's perfect because it's not like. Skittles or something where you can just put handfuls in and you just mix. I feel like Good and Plenty's are like strong enough to where you can be satisfied just throwing one or two in at just a time. Just one or two at a time, yeah. yeah. Like I'm not. You can really savor Good and Plenty's. Does, do you think anyone like really just pours a whole handful of Good and Plenty's and just whoop? Yeah, assholes. Yeah, that's that's how you know someone's an asshole. <laughs> give, them a, give them a box of Good and Plenty's and see how they eat it. <laughs> if I see someone at a stoplight pouring a box of Good and Plenty's into like the, the palm whole of their hand, thing all at once into their hand. <laughs> 
Yeah, you bet they're an asshole. We should take a break and go to the gas station and get some good and plenties. Try okay. them on the podcast, see if they still hold up. I'm down. We'll be we'll be right back after these short messages. Yep. Or or message if it's just one. I doubt it's just one though. But one thing's for sure, we'll have some good and plenties. We will. And we'll have them again on the podcast. Now you can finally see for real our live reaction to good and plenties. Mm-hmm. We're gonna keep the keep this going though. So it's funny, it just takes it makes Luke take longer to transfer the files. I love <laughs> doing that to him. Whether it's mental, physical, or emotional, we all benefit from more self-knowledge. Understanding your overall health is essential, and Aura Ring helps you discover how your body is working. In this age, so much of our lives is trackable. Health monitoring technology is nothing new, but it only works if you actually wear it. To get the best insights, rely on something you want to wear all the time. Aura Ring makes it simple. No straps, no screens, no boxy design, all you. The Aura Ring delivers accurate, personalized health insights, all from a comfortable-to-wear ring. During the day, their advanced sensor technology tracks heart rate, calories burned, and activity levels. And at night, it monitors body temperature trends, sleep quality, respiratory rate, and more. You receive personalized data in the Aura app, so you can work on building healthy habits and living your best life. The Aura Ring is easy to wear, water-resistant, and comes in two styles slash five colors to match your aesthetic. One small ring can make a world of difference in your health. I wore an Aura Ring, and you know, I have a lot of sleep problems. Using the Aura app, I was able to look at my sleep patterns, my, my body temperatures during the night, all that great stuff, and I have a much better insight on, on how I sleep at night, which then I can talk to my doctor about. It's great. That's one thing I love about it. I can track my sleep. That's personally my favorite thing. So, visit AuraRing.com super to find the right ring for you and get 15% off your purchase. That's AuraRing.com super. O-U-R-A ring.com slash super. Don't forget to use our link to save $15 on your Aura Ring. Don't really have a scent. <sighs> look just like grandma's pills. Look at this. I'll get a few out just so y'all can, you know. See, get, get a look at those those pills right Zoom there. Zoom in on there. Come on, Luke. I'm, okay, jostle, Luke. I'm jostling them Zoom around a little bit. Zoom in on mine too, Luke. I'm, I'm, they're jumping beans. Okay. Oh, I used to love those things. Ready? Shall we? Right, cheers, man. Oh, oh, I dropped mine. It's okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Still good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Man, these good and plenties. They are good and plenty. Mm. Definitely not a handful, Candy. No. But one, one to two at a time. I got two. I got two in my in my gullet right now. Mm. They're chewier than I remember, but in a good way. Those are pretty good. Very strong with the after flavor. Yeah, once the candy melts away, it's the candy coating that mm. I think makes them so good because it kind of sweetens up the black licorice. Yeah, not bad. Almost a salty aftertaste. Some time out. I definitely, uh, my mom's, like, go-to, like, the top two movie snacks my, uh, my mom would have would probably be either Good and Plenty's or Twizzlers. Interesting. When you, uh, take a sip of water after Good and Plenty, it's almost the same sensation as when, uh, you have a sip of water after you brush your teeth. Or chew some gum. Mm-hmm. Hell, I'll have a couple more. Gotta love that, uh, anise flavoring. That's what... That's what licorice is, is flavored with. It's also in uh, uh, absinthe. Mm. That's why absinthe tastes like licorice. I gotta respect them. They've never updated their branding, dude. This looks like it's straight out of fucking 1971. They don't need to. It's good and plenty. It's perfect. You know exactly what you're getting when you see this box. 25 pieces per serving. Who the hell's sitting there eating 25 good and plenties? Well, only 25 good and plenties and 110 calories? That's a good deal for me. Dude, hey, there's 25 of these things? There's about 150 of these bad boys in here. Mm. Yeah. 25 pieces. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was worth it. I'm sure uh, Luke is very appreciative of the... Uh, the extra 30 minutes of, of 4K footage. Mm-hmm. Which probably translates to about 200 gigabytes. Okay. Uh, so, Luke, I hope you enjoyed transferring all of that footage. And just so y'all didn't miss it, Luke, throw in a 20-second clip of that footage. (laughs) 
Thanks, Luke. Thank you, Luke. Uh, you said jumping beans earlier, and that reminded me. When I was a youngin, I used to love Mexican jumping beans. I, I would get them, and uh, I every day I would take them to school in my pocket. I'd feel them going, ding, ding. Were you the jumping beans kid? I was, I was the jump. I was the Mexican jumping bean kid. Uh, you I'd weren't Mexican, though. No, I was the white Mexican jumping bean kid. And uh, I would, like, take them out and show people, and I'd, like, put them on my desk. I'm like, watch this, watch this. And then they'd go... Would it blow their minds? Yeah, blow their minds. And then uh, every morning I wake up and check the little plastic case, see if they hatched. And they hatched, I'd set them free. Oh. Even though this is not the right climate for them. So I probably just sent them straight to their death. But I had a lot of fun watching them jump around. For those who are wondering, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a hard bean that this one type of moth lays its larva inside. And as the larva is, like, developing, it, it, uh, it like, kicks like around. a baby yeah. would. You know, we should get some like a baby in the womb. I remember one time I was in class and I reached in my pocket and I looked and they'd hatched inside my pocket in the little container. And I was like, (gasps) Was it just bugs? Were they smushed? They're just moths, yeah. Were they smushed when you found them? No, no, they were in a plastic container. They were just chilling in there. Okay. I set them free after that. We should get some for the office, man. Okay. Hatch some moths. Dude, these, that's, dude, I was obsessed with them. I never was really into them. They're, I remember they had those commercials. Do you remember the beans with the faces? Mighty Beans? I Mighty was obsessed beans? with those. I had a whole collection, I dude. knew about Mighty Beans. Dude, Mighty Beans... <laughs> so wait, what was Mighty Beans? Mighty Beans were these little plastic uh, characters that were collectibles that were like... Yeah, but like, uh, what made them jump? Or, uh, they had a weight inside, like okay. a weighted ball. So when you would tip them, the weight would shift and it would flip back up on it. Like, <laughs> yeah, so they had tracks that so would go... Doo, 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 and you'd shake them, they go... Bleh, 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 bleh. Classic Mighty, Mighty Beans. Dude, I... As I get older, I, I want to get back into collecting things I had as a kid. And, mm-hmm. like, one of my things, like, like so, two years ago, I got really back into collecting Garbage Pail Kids and, and Wacky Packs. And I have binders of those now. And I've, I still have some I haven't opened, but I've been cataloging them in a, in a book in order. Um, it's just a fun, like, it's, I don't know why. It's fun collecting them, and I love the art. And it's really fun, like, just getting home, opening packs, and then, like, sorting them and putting them in the correct sleeves. Um, but Mighty Beans... Or another thing I've wanted to collect. I fucking love Mighty Beans. I would collect these motherfuckers. These, like, Neo... The Neopet toys. I, I was know they ob- had toys. I was obsessed with these. This one I had. I didn't know they had Neopet toys. Yeah. They were awesome. I liked them. I wonder if I can find any more. I know I had those two dragons. Yeah, the pet... The, 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 the toys were great. Oh. <sighs> I'm trying to think what else. I didn't really collect Tamagotchi. I just had I was my one. Obs- I, I had like one or two. I think I had like 10 Tamagotchis. Like I was, that, that's one of the things I was most obsessed with as a kid was Tamagotchis. Like I was obsessed. I actually just, uh, Luke, throw it up on screen. Here's a letter I wrote to Bandai uh, when I was 10 years old. I couldn't convince my parents to buy me 10 Tamagotchis, unfortunately. Well, these were all the different versions. Like, through the years. <laughs> I don't think it made sense to my parents. They were only 15 bucks, too, but my dad didn't really want to buy me one. Because my dad was like, son, you got pets at home. I'm like, dad, this is different. It's a virtual pet. And he's like, you got a dog and a cat. So you take care of it? Oh, I would get in trouble at school. Dude, it was my backpack once. And he goes, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> And I was like, oh. And I was so scared. Dude, uh, I was obsessed with virtual pets. And uh, I had a lot of different ones. But one of my favorites was, do you remember these? Cube World? They were the cubes with the screen on it that had the little stick oh, man inside. Yes, yes. And yes. each one had you a different could build person. It and they would yeah. go and like live in a house and shit. Dude, my favorite thing was if you flipped it on its side, he would like roll and like slam into the edge. <laughs> and if you if you did it enough times, he'd stand up and puke. Fucking fantastic toys. There's a really good YouTube channel uh, called Billiam. And what he does is he just makes videos about like all of those classic toys like that that we grew up with, uh, like our era. Uh, and he has one about Cube World that's really good. Um, I used to also. Uh, collect this toy called aqua pets do you remember those that sounds so fucking familiar it was like a little it kind of looks like a sex toy but it had like a dome filled with water with a little like toy that was connected to strings and you click buttons and it would like like float it would dance around in the water yeah yes dude i I remember aqua Aqua pets these things were sick this one was shaped like a penis they all looked like penises uh aqua pets were awesome though um i had this one right here from 2003 (laughs) They all look like cocks. Uh, they all look like cocks. <laughs> they all look like cocks. So I, I really wanted to, uh, I went on eBay a couple months ago because I was like, I want to get like an OG Aquapet because I don't make them anymore. And then I realized because it's filled with water, uh, 
they are all filled with mold now. Like they're nasty. I bet. So because plastic and water. I'm sure there's a way you can probably open it up and put new water in, but I don't know. They they should have thought about that. I'll be honest. I had one or two of those, and I loved it. But I I don't think I ever figured out how to actually like play with it or. It just like I press buttons and it would do things. That would just float. There. I don't think I ever actually like figured out like. I what never the owned one. I, I think it was like a part of you know how like in some like daycares they would just have like a toy box of like miscellaneous shit that yeah. probably was donated or s- some of the uh, like daycare attendees brought from home. Ah, daycares! What a what a great time! You can still I remember watching out there. watching the Donkey Kong TV show. I remember falling into a toilet at daycare. <laughs> It's the it's one of those times where you're a kid and you just forget to I guess put up the seat. I just fell straight in. That happened to me once. It was Christmas morning and I was wearing my onesie, like my footy pajamas, and I fell straight into the toilet seat and I cried. And my parents had to come help me get out. <laughs> I, I had to do the walk of shame. I had to unveil myself oh, and come out in front of all the other kids. Everyone was watching a movie though, so luckily it just the teacher was paying attention. That's what Aqua Pets look like now. They look about this. Oh God! The water, it's like brown. Um, I remember going to a family reunion and I had an aqua pet, and but I had this one cousin that was um, he's weird. And uh, my okay. dad's like, go out to the car and show him your toy. Probably just wanted to have a beer with my uncle, so he sent him off. And I have a cousin that uh, I've only met like twice in my life, uh, and he's a first cousin, so you know, uh, but. I am terrified of him. Why? The vibes he gives off. Absolutely terrifying. Like psychopath vibes? Yeah. Does he listen to us? I don't know. He seems like the type of kid that might, so I'm just kidding. Uh, I love all my cousins equally. Um, Do you know that you're talking about him from just you mentioning this? Well, I have a lot of cousins, so... Yeah, exactly. He or she would not know. He's gonna kill me now. She she might... they, They might kill me now. Literally, literally looks and acts like a school shooter. I've never met someone in my life more akin to if a school shooter. If it happens, you can say you called it. Called it! You can go on the news, and you know how usually the news is filled with people going, I could never see that sweet little boy ever doing that. He was always nice. Oh, I could see it 100%. He helped me with my groceries. Cuts to Matt. I fucking called it. I knew it. it. <laughs> I said it from the beginning. I fucking knew it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but, uh, just kidding. Um, He's not really. She's uh, not. They're not really. It was just a joke. Matt, Matt likes to do little jokes. Uh, you know me and my my jokery, my tomfoolery, my hooliganism. <sighs> you know, it's caught in my teeth. Yeah, they do get a little stuck. Dude, imagine eating these with some braces. Mm. Couldn't be me. I was supposed to get braces. Never did. Never did. Well, you know what? So I have my teeth aren't awful. Like, but they, you know, I do have some like overlappage going, and uh, yeah, it's, you do. Right. Come, it's gotten better as I've gotten older a little bit, I guess, as my jaws matured. Well, actually, since getting my wisdom teeth out, they've set a little more, but uh, I do have this one big snaggle tooth. And I, you know when they told me I needed braces? Towards the end of my senior year of high school, right before going to college. I got mine off, I think, just in time for senior year. I had mine, like, sophomore and junior year. It's like two and a half years. Yeah, you got great teeth. They're Thanks, fantastic. Man. And then I, then I never wore my retainer. Why? Like, that's just fucked, though. Like, why... Like, you know, going off to college, it's like a fresh start, and you, you're like, oh, you want to look cool, you want to, like, be cool. Everyone wants to be cool in college. So I'm like, I'm not heading into college with braces that most people had in, like, middle school. Of course not. I mean, they do have the behind-the-teeth braces. I don't know if that was an option at the time. Oh. I kind of want to get that, though. It, you, like, it takes four to six months in your Invisalign, teeth. Invisalign, braces. My mom has it. Ooh, careful, man. That was a D, that was a low one. Didn't take any, didn't do any, we didn't get any poppers when we were out getting these good and plenties. Damn it, we should have stopped at the poppers aisle on CVS. <sighs> this is, it is Layton's birthday. Not the day this is coming out, but today, the, the day we're recording That's this. That's why we got all this. Yeah. Did he put, did he decorate that himself? Huh? Did you put the Layton decorations up in here, or did Layton do no, that? Layton did. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I thought maybe you did to celebrate his birthday, but not knowing that he put it up himself, rubs me the wrong way a little bit. Yeah. Forcing himself into our show. Look at him. Covering up a fan at, while he's at it, yeah, by the this, way. This original picture is, <laughs> is, this is from a fan right here. Um, it says, to my biggest fan, from <laughs> Jeff. 
Well, see, this this guy mailed this to us years ago and said he said a very nice note. He said, you know, you guys are always signing autographs, so you know, I just I just thought. I love his get up. I'd return the favor. <laughs> he is such a good. He's like, I thought maybe you guys would want an autograph, so he he <laughs> sent us this fuck. <laughs> and this has been in the super megaplex ever since he sent this. This is one of my favorite things. It's been like sent. presented, not just like in it, like stored. It's been like on a it's, shelf. It, you can see in the background of videos. So okay, we also read his name. Can you tell me what this says? I don't know. You have to give me the picture for me to read it. Jerb. <laughs> What's his fucking name? Is it Jerb? Is that an R? It looks like J E and so then it does a, that does look like Jerb. Jeb? J E H B? But they're all capital letters. They're all so capital it has letters. To be an R. Jerb. Jerb R something. I don't know what the Rio. Do you think he's still a fan? He sent this years ago. So he might have already he might have outgrown us, maybe. I hope he's still a fan. He looks like a sweet man. He does look like a sweet man. I mean, he might have outgrown, you know. He might not like he might not even be around anymore. Humor. Like we might be showing this and he'll he'll just never even see it now cuz he's like Could be dead. Could have passed away. He might have passed away. He looks like the type of fellow that might die at like 23. Yeah. Um through like some sort of accident, nothing nothing like Nothing nefarious. Yeah. But but definitely like maybe he developed like stage 4 lymphoma or something. Um What are you using your brain power for right now? What are you staring at? Trying to <laughs> trying to make it trying to. There's only so many letters that could be for R for makes it to make the sense. most R sense. makes the because because it's looking, only capital letters, so you can't your brain can't turn it into a lower case. It could be a K, but Jacob doesn't make sense. No, so I think it's J E, Jerb. It's got to be that's just got to be a poorly written R. I'm sure I could find someone named Jelb. Jerb. Could be Jelb. No, Jerb. Well, Jerb. Uh, our hats are off to you, buddy. Um, J oh, name Jerb in the Hebrew origin means a merciful gift from God. Ryan, name Jerb is of Hebrew origin. Okay. If that's not a merciful gift from God, I don't know what is. <laughs> I'll put this back down now. Wow. This picture frame could stand on its side or on its, uh, its, its tall side. I'm saying it's pretty cool. Was that to Jerb or to Layton? Leave it up for uh, interpretation. I don't want to, you know, a director shouldn't tell the audience exactly what he wanted them to get from whatever he did. Yeah. I think leaving up to interpretation makes it a little more of a, a sophisticated endeavor to try to, uh, I guess, put into history. How do you When feel people go back in time and look at that, and when I kick over that frame and it knocks over Layton's picture as well. They're going to have to decide for themselves. Was it scorn for Leighton for making a big deal about his birthday? Or was it jealousy of Jerb, a gift from God? That's something to think about. Well, I'm going to set it back up if that's cool, but we'll go to ad breaks. And when we're back, we could talk about more gifts from God. How's yeah, that why sound? don't you set this up too? Right, stop. Don't kick that over. That's got Leighton's ashes in it. I'm not cleaning that up. Okay. Be respectful. We'll be right back. You know that feeling you get when your crush texts you unexpectedly? I know I do. I go, <laughs> Or when you make powerful prolonged eye contact with that cute barista at your local coffee shop? I know I do. I go, <laughs> Well, that's how it feels wearing the new limited edition MeUndies Valentine's Day collection. Add some heat to your V-Day with MeUndies and get 20% off your first purchase. Plus, get free standard shipping and free returns when you go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. You've heard us talk about it time and time again. I'm wearing MeUndies as we speak. It's a beautiful little, like, salmon color pair. I love it. I've been wearing it for about six weeks straight. Still doesn't stink. That's how great MeUndies are. I'm just kidding. I changed them last night from my other pair of MeUndies I was wearing. I wear them all the time. Ryan wears them all the time. They are fantastic. And you know, with Valentine's Day coming up, I'm rocking the limited edition Valentine's Day prints, and I'll tell you something. When the ladies see me in my undies, they love it. They go, wow, those are nice me undies. They don't even care about me. They just like the me undies. Love is supposed to be fun. Whether you love someone else or just yourself, it's always a good time. That's why me undies has super comfortable and cute undies, bralettes, loungewear, and more in flirty new prints for this V-Day season. 
comfort is sexy. So get matching with someone you love or just match with your favorite ball of fur for the cutest pics anyone has ever seen. Available in sizes extra small to 4X, they have something for every booty to fall in love with. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. Get 20% off your first order and free shipping right to your door. So, to get 20% off your first order, free U.S. shipping, and to chat with your incredible cheek squad about any questions or sizing concerns, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. This episode of the Super Mega Cast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Give online therapy a try at BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega and get on your way to being your best self. Mm. When you're at your best, you can do great things, but sometimes life gets you bogged down and you may feel overwhelmed or like you're not showing up in the way that you want to. Working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of yourself because when you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on everything life throws at you. BetterHelp has sure helped me. I used to be scared of heights. Now after talking to a therapist, I've bought my first four-story mansion and I'm not scared of living in it at all. Fourth story is pretty high too, man. It's very high. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash SuperMega. And we're back. Yep. Um, uh, I had to have some more good and plenties. Well, I got They're you. good. And? There's plenty of them. On the floor right now. I spilled mine. Can't waste them, though. Um, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, fuck. I spilled them again. Can't really even get it this time. So, Matt said he wanted to, I don't know why, but... He wanted to talk about the Arkham Asylum games, the the Batman. I, don't know. <laughs> I just saw your face turn from what the fuck. You said you wanted to talk about why specifically you like the combat system so much. Well, I like the combat system. It's more freeform, you know. It's almost it's reminiscent of Yakuza Zero, mm. which I think came out after Arkham Asylum, but it's it's good combat and. Uh, what did you think of the uh, ending of Arkham Knight? I mean, what didn't I think of the ending of Arkham Knight is, I think, a better question. I mean, there's so, so much, there's so much going on. <laughs> yeah, there is. You know, the Batman. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you at the end of the Arkham Knight game, they blow up Batman? Really? <laughs> yeah. He dies? Bruce Wayne goes and just sits in his mansion and kills himself by blowing it he up. Bl- he kills himself? He blows himself the up. Batman kill- the Batman kills- wait, the Batman commits suicide by blowing himself up? <laughs> you serious? You're fucking with me. I'm not. Well, he turns like the gas stove on and fucking <laughs> just sits there for a few hours I mean, and he, lights like, a match? I, 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 maybe I'm, I think I'm getting it slightly wrong, but he does blow up in his house at the end. Himself. Because he, he's like- He kills himself. I am the Batman. No more. And is the- expo- <laughs> You could have just put the mask down and been done with it. I'm, okay, may, okay. I'm gonna look it up to make sure I'm getting these facts right. I want to see Robert Pattinson's Batman. I'm a big Pattinson head. Okay. While Batman appears to die at the end of Batman: Arkham Knight, the climactic superhero epic also hints at a different future for the Dark Knight. Hold up. How did Batman? Okay. Batman stops Al Ghul's sword attack. However, he stabs himself with Al Ghul's own weapon. That's Isn't that the, crazy? You wouldn't have known that if your buddy Ryan didn't play the Arkham Knight game. No, I would have thought you were gaslighting me. <laughs> no, but the, yeah, the the <laughs> the final uh, finale Batman game ends with him blowing himself up. Dude, I had no idea. <laughs> I'll have I'll have a few more good. If plenty. you had given me like a multiple choice test with a bunch of what answers, what happens at the end? And one of them was he blows himself up. Was Batman blows himself up? <laughs> I would. I, that would have been the last one I would have chosen. He puts the Riddler away. He accidentally kills the Joker. Batman blows himself up. Oh, I thought you were saying he did all of those things in the game. I was like, that's no. pretty conclusive then. Well, he does kill the Joker. Are you excited for Joker 2? The musical? We're... Lady Gaga? Mm-hmm. Dude. It's still watching. Is, Je- is Jenna Ortega going to be in it? <sighs> I hope so. <laughs> it's still Walking Phoenix, right? 
Yeah. Okay, people also give me shit for the way I say his name. They they say I say it like what like the verb the verb Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix? Joaquin Phoenix. Okay, I say Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. He was in the movie Walk the Line, so I mean which they made a parody of with John C. Riley which called is Walk Hard, which is better than Walk the Line. Walk the Line's a good movie. Not I, as good as Walk Hard. I do like uh I really like Joaquin Phoenix as mm -hmm. an actor. He strikes me as one of those guys that I feel like in person is probably a really shitty dude, though. He doesn't even come on give off that vibe. I'm not, I don't know about his character. He just seems like he'd kind of be mean. He kind of, he's, I think he's one of those from his speeches or whatever. He comes across as the type of person to feel like he needs to baby and talk to others to make them understand what he understands. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? He just doesn't seem very down to earth, I guess. <clears throat> no. But I don't know the man. He definitely no Kevin Hart. Or Kevin Spacey, for that matter. But um, these, are making, these are making my tongue itch. I know, it's making it kind of numb. It's making my tongue itch. Favorite story about Kevin Hart is when he um, cheated on one wife, and then when he got together with the woman that he cheated on her with, he cheated on that woman. Ooh, Kevin. I know. Kevin. But thank God uh, they put him in Jumanji, so. I was going to say they put him in jail. <laughs> they put that cheating ass in jail, thank God. He'll never see the light of day again. No, Kevin, I, I actually, I remember there was a time, I think I was in like high school, where I was watching a Kevin Hart stand up. I was laughing my ass My mom off. loves Kevin Hart. Whoo, I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't take you out of the theater. Turns out it was a panic attack. My mom loves Kevin Hart. What is it? What, did I go to some like Kevin Hart fathom event? <laughs> <laughs> fathom events where they just show like a pre recorded thing in a movie theater, like it's some big event. Just some opera. Just It's like it's like instead of going to the real opera, <laughs> yeah. you can just watch it on a screen. But you're still in a theater. You get some popcorn, maybe some wine. Can't do that at the opera. Also, you might get shitty seats. And in this, you always get to see where uh I guess the whole point of it is that it is live and it doesn't really. That's why they emote so. That's why people go to land. People like no one wants to fucking watch a recording of an opera, you know. I barely want to watch recordings of. No, I was never mind. Of what? Just say it, no, Ryan. I don't. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I feel like it, I feel like there was a clause in the contract with Layton that we couldn't bring that. Oh yeah, up. no, 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 no. Um, but. What are the odds you and I have to go get front row tickets at, at an opera? Okay, never mind. That's too expensive. What, what are the odds you and I just have to go to an opera together? How long they are. And we can't take bathroom breaks. They're long. I know they're like four hours. <laughs> 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 also, like, they're all in, like, Italian. So it's like... Even if I wanted to follow the story. Santo Marie, Santo Marie, Santo I, Maria. I have no idea what's going on. It would just be a bunch of gibberish. Biblio, Biblio, Biblioteca. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I mean, I, that's a Spanish word, but I'll, I'm pretty sure it's, like, pretty close in Italian. <laughs> Good. Uh, Biblioteca. <laughs> Dude, I'd be so mad if you broke that. Oh, we'd have to go to the emergency room for multiple reasons. You'd have shards of glass in your hand, and then I'm pretty sure neon gas is toxic. To who? That's a good point. <laughs> I don't know if it's toxic to me. I've never tested. You know, certain people are allergic to certain things. I feel like, you know. Toxicity probably goes the same way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, if Justin, little Justin, were to get stung by a bee, he'd swell up and die. But if I got stung by a bee, I'd just laugh it off. I wonder if you've been stung by a bee before. Or a I've, wasp or a yellow jacket or something. Only I've, once I stepped on it at the swimming pool, and my, that shit hurt. Mine was one time, and it was just, I, I, I was just playing outside, and randomly, just, just, I'm like, ah! My hand swelled up as a wasp. Why? I don't know. Why did you do that? I was just walking, I didn't even know it was around. It I, I didn't know it existed until I felt the pain. It took itself out of existence to do that. I don't think wasps take themselves out of existence when they sting you. I think that's, that's male bees. I thought all of them, the stingers attached their internal organs. I don't think that's all of them. I could check. I could check. I could run a little fact check. We need a fucking fact checker on this podcast. You know, like kind of how Joe Rogan has Jamie. We haven't even talked about that yet, have we? I was on Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah. That was another big... I for, that was another big thing We just happened. forgot to mention. Yeah, I was... Like, uh, give the rundown. What, what uh, am I looking up? Because right now... Do wasps die when they stink? Um, yeah, so Joe Rogan... Uh, 
talked about me on his podcast. Uh, very, very big moment for me, Ryan. Um, it was on my bucket list of 2022. And with just a few days to go, he did it. Uh, basically, he he saw the clip of me getting beat up at Creator Clash and thought it was a real father and son boxing match. And he's like, I saw this boxing match between a father and son, and it made me so sad. It made me so sad. And he goes on this long emotional spiel about it. And then Jamie is like, it's not what it is at all. It's, it's, a, it's a YouTuber boxing match. And he's like, why did it lie? <laughs> Such a sucker. Why did the video? He, he was a sucker. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it wasn't just like Jamie or someone pulled up a video and they were watching it for the first time. This is something he brought up because it pained him so it, much when he was watching it in his fucking California King at home made out like I with, thought of that a blanket of like lion fur. I thought of that exact thing. <laughs> like there, there was a moment where Joe Rogan was probably laying in his big ass bed on his phone <laughs> watching my fight just going, oh, man. Oh, man. Going to his wife. Look at this. This. They isn't he probably talked about it with his wife? He's like, is that not the most sad thing you've ever seen? <laughs> that just, I mean, he could have given him brain damage. I do have to give credit. He does instantly. He does own up. Yeah, he owns up to it like right away. He doesn't try to make like excuses. He just calls no, it I'll like give it him is. Credit for that. He says, "I'm a, I'm such a fucking sucker." He goes, "I'm such a sucker." <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I mean, props to him for for correcting his wrong. He but, didn't put the blame on y'all and be like, "Why would they? Why would they name it that?" Well, day? he started. He, yes. he goes, "Why does it lie?" <laughs> Which it was, I didn't upload that video. It was, it was a confusing title. But but then immediately after, he then proceeds on the podcast to watch my fight and just tear into me. So I guess the, it, because it's not father and son, it's fine. Yeah. Um. But uh, he says he, you had no business no business being, being in, in the ring. ring. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> but I think they're announcing it pretty soon. The next lineup for Creator Clash. Okay. Which again, Ryan we're going and I to are involved in it, but I can't say how. We're not fighting, but. Some might argue it's much better than We're fighting. not fighters anymore. We're pacifists. We're lovers. Not to, <laughs> not to each other. Just, I mean, I mean, to just the world. Yeah. We don't fight anymore. No. Um, verbally, maybe, but not physically. Um, phys Emotionally. Yeah. I, uh, at the end of the last Creator Clash, you know, people were asking, do you want to do it again? And I think both of us were like, we could do it again, just not next year. I've kind of come to the point where I'm like, I'm I don't not think doing I'm that doing again that. at all. Yeah. There's a... I it's still fun. I still feel like if like the shit with my back didn't go down the way it did, I would be a little more intrigued by it because I was excited about the whole fitness aspect and stuff. But I think if I hadn't still gotten the a, ever living shit beat out of me, we were we were blood. Well, I was blood. I was a bloody mess. You at least got an entertaining fight out of it. Not I don't know. I didn't. I don't remember much of it. I don't know. If it was for me. I think it was for it every, was, more, more everyone else. It was insane. Again, Ryan Keemstar said our fights were the best fights of the night. Mine for a different reason than yours. but Your, Yours because it was a good fight. Mine but, because it was just funny. But they were entertaining fights, some, you know, at least. And at the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about? We're entertaining. Putting on a show? We're not boxers. No. We didn't pretend to be boxers. No. We were just funny men punching, trying to punch. I do think it's very on brand the way our fights went. Yeah. So at least we got that. I wish I, wish I could have pulled out a win for us, buddy. But I think, I think us... Both losing our fights brought us even closer together. It did. It really did. And uh, I really, uh, I'm excited for next year's Creator Clash. It's gonna be, it's gonna, it's much bigger. I don't want to give too much away. Yeah. I don't want to. Well, I haven't signed any NDAs, Ryan. So no, I've just been told things. So Ooh. if they hit the public, that's on the person that told me. Yeah. So not my fault. I got a big mouth. Anyway, I Dubs was saying. That basically the next match is nothing but white nationalists. Ooh, okay. Uh, like going against each other? No, or? it's more of like a rally. There's not oh. even any fighting. It's just like more like a protest. Mm, not pro just like a okay a reunion, like a like a, a brotherhood coming together type thing. January sixth happened recently. Yes, it did. Last week. Mm hmm. What did you think about that? Did you have a good time? Well, so it's one of those days where it's like somber. Uh, because it just kind of reminded me of the brotherhood I shared two years prior. That then instead I was just sitting at home this time. Yeah. Um, it, it's like you think of... This made me miss all the guys. The great feats that you were able to accomplish on, go on like government steps. Yeah. You know. Fucking, I mean, being inside Nancy Pelosi's office was 
Incredible. <laughs> Luckily, no pictures. And we left our phones at home, so there's no GPS tracking on that. You left your phone at home? You're, sp- you're supposed to. That's how That's how they tied the whole Idaho shit, the Idaho killer. The Moscow murders was mainly through... Did you tell me to leave my phone at home? A car and then connecting it to a cell phone. What? Did you tell me to leave my phone at home? Yeah. I don't remember. I, re- I tried to remind, I said, remember when we go to this, leave your cell phone at home because they can track you. And that means if they're tracking you, they're probably... No, oh, it's... It's been two years. It's pretty sure it's fine. Now, you've been texting me a lot. They probably bugged your phone since then. Now all my texts are being read, too. Can they do that? Mm-hmm. Can they look at every text I've sent to anyone? Yeah, they just got to hit up the phone company with a warrant. <laughs> with a probable cause. The federal government, they can't just get warrants. <laughs> if they If they have probable cause... Would my phone being pinged at a certain location at a certain time and a certain date be probable cause? I mean, you could argue that the cell phone towers don't give a, 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 a purely accurate depiction of exactly where you are, just the general area. So you you could have been just out with friends in the area. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm. You were out with friends I'm, in the area. I'm, you wouldn't be. I lying. was. That's not a lie. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that they can actually get it down to like the square meter. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Yikes. For you, not me. I left my phone at home. You think I'm going down by myself, Ryan? What? <laughs> Look, I, I did my... I'm I, not lying for you. You Listen, buddy, you're my friend, but at the end of the day, when Uncle Sam comes calling, think I'm going to take the fall for both of us? I would, I would hope that I, I was, I was doing my due diligence in being in protecting myself. You, why, why am I being brought down with you? Because you are the one that made the mistake in bringing your phone. We'll talk about this later, but not on the after show, which is coming up right after this on Patreon that you cannot watch on YouTube, and you have to subscribe to our Patreon for five bucks to listen to it. Yeah, and I don't want to hear any pissing. And any, any, oh, because $5 is too much money. The okay? after show didn't exist at one point. This is just added content for other people, not you, unless you do uh, buy our Patreon or have our uh, patron current. Then I'm also kidding. I understand everyone's financial situation is different. And if you can't spare $5, that's totally okay. I don't. I have to poop and I'm done with this episode. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Matt and Ryan, that was not funny. But I love Super Mega. <laughs>